Hey, Malik B, listen, this is, <laughs> if, this is a plain sacrifice. I mean, it don't take a, this one right here is very, it's like an open and shut book. You know why I say that? Because this nigga died at 47. Backwards, that's 74. Now, 47 represents time, 74 represents time. Not only does 74 represents time, it also represents government. And so, this boy seemed to me was sacrificed at the same time as all of these damn, the black conscious, because you know, this is supposed to be some black conscious rap group, the Roots. You know what I'm saying? And then you got all this other black stuff going on. They taking down black, uh, racist statues and all this racism that's going on in the world. And who? How old is Donald Trump? I think Donald Trump is motherfucking damn. I think he's pushing 74. If I'm not mistaken, I think he's 74. Hold on. Because, okay, if I'm not mistaken, last time I checked, I mean, I could be wrong. Yes, you are right on the butt. 75, like I told you, this is a motherfucking damn government sacrifice. His birthday is June 14th, 1946. Mm-mm-mm. Whole sacrifice. This goes right along with, you know what I'm saying, the uprising of you black niggas rising up against your slave master. You know what I'm saying? I told you this whole thing is nothing but an agenda. Oh, you racist, racist this, racist that. Knocking down the statues and all this other bullshit. It's, boy, it's sacrifice. It's time. But go ahead, Brother Israel. They want to bitch about knocking down statues and shit like that. No one was bitching when they were killing our ancestors, throwing us off the roads. I mean, you know what I'm saying? A statue don't mean shit when all of my people are as ignorant as a box of nails. You know what I'm saying? A statue don't mean shit if you don't know the history of who you are. I understand you people know the history of, you know what I'm saying, the statues yeah, that's being knocked they, down. Exactly, and they're doing that because of something they don't even know or experience. Ex or even study at all whatsoever. Ex they're just doing it because they're following it. Exactly. <laughs> they shouldn't do it. If they knew that they was the real Hebrew Israelites, brought over here and that's the reason why they are hated and that's the reason why those statues are there and that's the reason why America is the way it is if they knew that then they wouldn't worry about a white statue being knocked down they will worry about coming back to the law of statue commandments fuck a statue that statue don't mean shit I don't get I, you can keep that statue up or take it down it doesn't mean nothing to me because that we statue can be destroyed with everything else. Yeah, because we ain't supposed to be damn, you know what I'm saying? Making those statues or no graven images or anything of that nature. Therefore, we ain't supposed to be paying attention to that shit neither. The Most High God said he's a spirit. So those who worship him should worship him in spirit and in truth. But let's hear about this government sacrifice. This government sacrifice. Malik Abdul Bassett, rapper, singer, and founding member of the Roots, has died according to a statement posted on the group's verified Twitter account. He was 47. We and, and you see that propaganda? Malik it's an Arab name. It's an Ishmaelite name. And 
Abdul. It's an African name. You know what I'm saying? You know, them African. Abdul means male. And Abdullah means female. In the African language. So, I guess, what is he? Half Arab, half African? Or is this a propaganda to push that motherfucking damn African agenda? They want to make you believe that you're African. They really do. They be pushing that shit to the motherfucking fullest. Because I'll be damned if I'm going to accept that as my name. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You, you guys should, you should be insulted if anybody call you African American. That should be an insult. Because I'd literally correct them right away. I'd be like, uh, no. You can either call me a Negro or black. That's it. Those are the terms I'll take. Because by I'm going to push my actual thing on you, but Negro or black, I'll accept. Anything other than that, African? No, I'm not African. I'm not, not from that tribe. Sorry. Because by them calling you an African, and you are condoning them calling you an African, you are agreeing to them calling you a curse, and you are of the cursed seed of Ham. See, they are cursed. We just have a curse upon us. Two different things. You can be cursed. When you curse, you're cursed. You cannot get that curse off of you. When you have a curse put upon you, you can reverse that curse by just going to who put it on you to have it reversed. And the Most High God put it on us. So if we go to the Most High God, that curse will be reversed. See, you ain't going to get this truth nowhere else on earth but right here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, finish reading, brother Israel. We regretfully inform you of the passing of our beloved brother and longtime Bruce member Malik. The statement read, "May he be remembered for his devotion to Islam." Oh Lord, I just told what I just say. He got an Islamic first name and a African middle name. I I I not even read this. I didn't even hear this. This is my first time hearing this shit. But go ahead, Brother Israel. Innovation as one of the most gifted MCs of all time. So you're telling me that uh, a rap is a uh, is the most gifted MCs of all time. Nice try. Nice <laughs> try, Ishmael. <laughs> <laughs> We ask that you please respect his family in our time of mourning. A publicist from the group confirmed the news. No cause of death was released. Bassett? What kind of name is Bassett? That's a white name? I don't know. Maybe, you know what I'm saying? He was born in a basket. That's a man. Yeah, probably. Or uh, uh, maybe he's just a bastit. <laughs> bastard. Be a bastard. Yeah, that's what I mean. Who performed under the name Malik B. Malik Bastard. Was part of the Philadelphia based group from his early beginnings to about 1999 when he departed amid group tension details. And, and picture this. And this is why this is a sacrifice. Because where is he from? Philadelphia. In the book of Revelations, what was being told about the church of Philadelphia? In the book of Revelations. Here's what the angels say to the seven churches of Philadelphia. Though not only that, Philadelphia is where one of the slave ports is at. So, therefore, like I said in the beginning of this report, this is a government sacrifice to go along with the same agenda which they are pushing to raise up you black niggas, the motherfucking them keep going on with this bullshit, talking about this is racist and that's racist. You know it's racist? By them calling you, you guys, what you guys are not. Listen, like... All the 13 colonies, 
and then uh, the 13 colony, right? Because uh, they all have courts on them. They were the first to be settled by the. If, never mind. Because now, now, no, not first settled. They were first conquered by those white characters, right? Uh, to bring black people over. There was ports all over there. You got ports in the, you got ports in Haiti, Puerto Rico, right? Hawaii. You can really tell who are God's people because they're separated. They're separated from the whole mainland. Exactly. The, the same so way, the same I way. I don't even know how I, I literally just seen that just now for some reason. That just went in my head. I have no idea why and that's weird. <laughs> the same way Kobe Bryant. Where was Kobe Bryant from? Philadelphia. He died at age 41. See that? It all goes back. Kobe Bryant, government sacrifice. This guy, government sacrifice. I mean, come on. This is a whole freaking ritual that is going on, people. Portrayed before your eyes. And brother Israel, that was the Most High God. You know what I'm saying? Put it on your mind to speak. Yeah, I, yeah, I know that. I just realized that, like he, really, like I don't. It's it's hard to. It's, it's like a, instantly, I seen it. But as I was speaking, it just instantly happened. Literally. Amen. Amen. But uh, that's it. That was all for that. Details, detailed in the, no, let me finish reading, that's the last little bit. Um, early beginnings to about 1999 when he departed amid group tensions detailed in the song Water from the Roots album of Phrenology, P-H-R-E-N-O-L-O-G-Y, written by Tariq. T A R I Q. Uh, Black Thought. That's the name of it. Uh, Trotter. The track speaks to Bassett's struggle with addiction. Bassett went on to produce solo material and several years after his departure also appeared on several tracks on Roots' album. So they're trying to say that. A Muslim, right? Ishmael is part of the roots album. Now, if you if you guys actually think about the roots, it has to do with black people, not Muslims. What what they're trying to do is the the roots. They're trying to say the roots. Our roots is African. We are African. If we are not if we're not Muslim, because that's the two religion. That's the two places the niggas love to go to, either being a Muslim and worshiping a rock, or being an African and eating doo doo. You know what I'm saying? It should be an insult that a motherfucker tells you that you're African. That should be an insult to you. It sure enough is an insult to me. I said, hold up, wait a minute. Let me put some foots in your ass. Anyway, this is news. Want to thank you all for tuning in and logging on. To, yeah, we're about that time. Let me want to thank you all for tuning in and logging on to another episode of Illuminati News. Hour right here on Gospel Talk Radio. I'm your host, I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith, and my co-host is Brother Lamik Israel. If you're new to the channel, please tap that subscribe button, hit that like button, share button, comment board. Till next time, stay tuned. We out.